when we work with Excel, it is not always about complex functions and formulas, but at times it could be simple arithmetic calculations for which Excel may readily provide functions, but sometimes for the sake of simplicity, we are better off without them. Now let us consider a case of the scores of few university students. I have an extract of the list here of three students. So we prepare a table here. To begin with, we need student name. I recommend you to type with me so that you get a good hang of working with Excel. So we have the student name and for subjects we have economics, statistics and accounting. Now let me adjust the column width here. I'll select all the four columns and click on the border of any one of the columns and the width of these columns are adjusted automatically as per the size of the content. Now first student we have is Jade Waters then Sam Turner and next we have Steffi Fernando. Now Jade scored 60 in economics, 50 in statistics and 65 in accounting while Sam scored 68 in economics, 60 in statistics and 49 in accounting. Steffi scored 75 in economics, 70 in statistics and 85 in accounting. Let me adjust the width of full name over here. Now I would like the heading to be in bold and make this entire thing look like a table. So we have here I'll apply borders, I'll select all borders. Great. Now that looks like a proper table. This is only an extract of the entire list of students. Now as per the university norms, a student is considered pass if he or she scores at least 50. So the passing score is 50. Maximum score for each subject is 100. So scoring 50 out of 100, that's the passing score. So let us perform a basic analysis and just try to find out how we can analyze this data. First thing, I would like to know how much did Jade Waters score overall? I want to know how much did Jade Waters score overall. So that means that is 60 and 50 and 65, all three together. So here I can type equal I select 60 plus 50 plus 65 as simple as that well we don't need any excel functions for that it's pretty simple straightforward all we do is link the cells we could have manually entered the numbers here but I recommend use equal sign and just link to the cells with the right numbers and you have them Keep a close watch on the colors over here. The color reference over here denotes, indicates the selection color as well. For example, D3 is in red. So here the red cell amongst the three is D3. That's statistics, 50. 